Mike Smart reporting from IBM European Analyst and Advisory Exchange 2017. Two key takeaways um, that were highlighted throughout the event was IBM moving from being a systems integrator to a services integrator, um, bringing together the services for its GBS unit and its technologies in the GTS unit. The second takeaway, I would say, was how these services can be delivered in a resilient manner, which uh, Gregor Pillen highlighted fairly early on, and uh, we had a breakout later with IBM Resiliency Services. Um, in the breakout with Kevin Stevens and um, Robin Greger, we went through how the acquisitions in the past year in IBM Resiliency have added to the services menu there. Um, there was also talk of how IBM kept all of its contractual arrangements through NotPetya, which is pretty incredible when you consider the scale of that attack. Um, it was alluded to in the future with these attack scales increasing that it may not be um, possible to offer the same recovery point objectives and the same recovery time objectives for clients who, for example, can't um, patch their embedded systems that are running on older technologies. Um, I would say that another critical aspect that was highlighted in the resiliency piece was how you need to make sure there's an adequate gap between your discovery and your production. Um, there was a client example again for which NotPetya um, got to their disaster recovery um, unit and the incident spread to there. Um, I think all in all the event highlighted IBM's move towards newer technologies such as AI through its Watson uh, service platform with Watson and with its chatbot example with BP at the start of the day. Um, if you want to know more about how IBM is linking Watson to its cybersecurity services in particular, then I will link a blog below that details how it is integrating QRadar with Watson. Thank you.